Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're the New to Bourbon Guys, and today we have a Kirkland review. Hey guys, we've got three different bottles today that everybody's been kind of talking about, and these are all from Costco. We've got uh, first is a small batch, it's 92 proof. These are all one liter bottles, by the way. Next is the Bottle and Bond, which as you guys know, or, or hopefully you do if you've watched the channel, this is a 100 proof. And next is the 120 proof single barrel. So we're gonna, we're gonna try all three of these. Uh, first thing I can see first off is the color difference. There is a color Way difference. difference. Single right. barrel is the darkest. All right, so the way I poured these, we went higher to lower proof is the way I poured them. Why don't, we start, why don't we start on the lower proof and work our way up? So go from sure. left to right. So is this the lowest? That's the lower proof. And this is the bottom. Same order as what's on the screen, screen here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's start on the left yeah, side. Yeah, let's start low proof and yeah. work our way up. Yeah. So that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, instead of going from the higher proof and down. So what we're drinking yeah. now is a small batch, 92. So they're going to take a smaller batch of barrels, mix them all together, proof them down to 92, and that's what we're drinking right now. So Yeah, we like, we like Barton. This is all made by Barton 1792, and we like that. We do. It's all good juice. A little thin on the mouthfeel. Uh, it's very bright. You're being, you're, you're being very kind. I am being very kind. Yeah, it's, I think that's very short finish. I think that's um, how much was that bottle? I don't even know. Under under thirty bucks. Um, maybe, maybe nineteen. Yeah, I, 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 I like it as a mixer. I think. Mean, <laughs> I think. I, but is, is it even stronger to mix? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I'm going to be very honest and say the word that comes to mind is uneventful. Pass. Uneventful. My one word would be pass. Pass. Yeah. yeah. I'll drink it. It's bourbon. I, I'm not big on that. So I, for people who are maybe not bourbon drinkers and they don't want something that's going to be overpowering and they're not going to be, they're not going to want to try to taste the difference, I think it would be fine to serve that, but I don't know that. You mean with Coke? <laughs> Diet Coke, Diet Coke. Maybe Coke Zero. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, you know, there are not too many bottles that I say I don't, I'm not big on, but I I just, I don't like that at all. That's a no-go for you? It's a no, yeah, I mean, I, and I don't run into that very often. It reminds me of Basil Hayden. Yeah. No, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Oh, moving right along, why don't we move on to the, uh, just the bottle and bond. Yep. The middle so bottle. So bottle and bond is, of course, 100 proof. Um, much better on the nose, like right off the bat. That's still not a lot there, but it's better on the nose. Wow, that's almost got a rye note to it. Is that a rye in it? Mm, I'm sure it's got some. Hmm. Can't eat fruits and honey is what they're saying. Characteristic, yep, of rye. So it does have some rye in it. And that's a... And that's a, K a Kentucky straight bourbon. So Kentucky straight bourbon. So it's four definitely, years, definitely at least young. four years. Bottled at 100 proof. Yeah, definitely. One young. season, one distillery. Federally bonded warehouse. Hmm, it's interesting. Hmm. This is on, so this is a high. It is high. not age stated, and it's it's over four years. Right, because it's a bottle in the bond. All right, so moving on. To single, so I, I'd say unimpressed. I think this yeah. one was uh, maybe 25 bucks for 25 bucks. Yeah. But I mean, look. All right, okay, so so here here's the question. For twenty five, this is this is a, about the same size bottle. It's a little bit more than twenty five bucks. But are you going to take that over one hundred and one? No, no chance. No, not a chance. No chance. This is a much better bottle of bourbon for the money over those two so far. So I'll take. Oh, this one's interesting. I'll, I'll take one hundred and one over that. So third and final is the single barrel. This is the Kirkland single barrel. Uh, same distillery, still 1792. Uh, this is non-chill filtered, so we should get a little bit more mouth feel, a little bit better mouth feel, more flavors out of this. Hmm. This is interesting right here. Did it say single barrel reserve? Oh, what, what does it say down here? Yeah, single barrel reserve. Yeah, that's some fancy word they like that at the end of it. Reserve. Reserve does sound fancy, doesn't it? Yeah, it means yeah. nothing though. Well, now when we did we did a tasting not long ago and had some 120. Three, you know, we were tasting and doing a blind on three hundred and twenty proof, proof bourbons, so let's keep that in mind. Nope, oh, there's something weird on this one. You get that? Some weird bananas. I mean, um, band aids. You get band aids. What? Anybody get band aids? You can definitely get the proof. 
I'm getting band-aids. Yeah. They left, are you getting band-aids? They left yeah. that off the label, Jennings. It should have been. No, it does, it does have fun. Hits of band-aid. No, I mean, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. There is a you get that with red wine sometimes. Just band-aid. I get that with French red wine sometimes. I get no. a band-aid at the very beginning of no. the opening process, and then after it's breathed for 10 minutes, it's fine. No, but I, yeah, I get, you get it's, it's on the back side. It's on the back side. It's not a Holy it's on the back mackerel. Side. Interesting. There is an odd finish. <clears throat> Let it sit for a minute. Well, this has been open, so this hasn't been. Just yeah, it's like not a neck pour or anything. No. Now, something tells me with the bottled and bond level of that particular bottle tells me that somebody liked that. Like somebody liked to mix it with something. No, we had some somebody people liked over, it they, at some point. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. They were in it. They were into it. They yeah. started pouring that one heavy. Really? Well, I, I can tell you from my standpoint, there, there are a lot of good bourbons out there. And in this price range, there are a lot of good bourbons. I would take them over any of the three of these. Man, still band-aids. That is weird. Yeah. I'm not, weird flavor profile again. I'm not saying, look, I'm not saying anything. There are a lot of people that, that rave about these bourbons. Oh, absolutely. And that's why we're doing this, this, this tasting, because a lot of people talk about this. We hear a lot of people say, hey, Kirkman just dropped. Kirkman just dropped. Kirkman just dropped. Yeah. People run out and go get that. For me, it's just not my thing. But I'll tell you, the Kirkman brand of stuff in general, like especially their scotches, are fantastic. They're, they're, 27 year, 25 year, 24 year, 23 year. Every one of those was ridiculously good. I okay, buy, I buy all kinds of stuff at Costco. I'm a big Costco fan, so <laughs> I love Costco. Yeah. Hey, but it's a single barrel. Yep. Maybe there's some other. The next one may be better. better. Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, if you like our banter, please subscribe. <laughs> Click the little bell. <laughs> if you don't, just don't. You probably would have turned off the video. Maybe click now. to the next video. You never know. Yeah. Maybe might be the better. next one better. <laughs> Hopefully. So. Don't forget to drink, enjoy, and share. Come back to see us. We're the new to Bourbon Guys. Thanks for being here. Cheers. 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 Why is it blinking? Why is it flashing? Do you want me to blow out this candle? No. Yeah. No. You can't can hear it. it. I think it's driving David crazy. <laughs> Not everybody knows what Kirkland is, though. You don't want to say Costco. Those are garbage. I'm pouring those out. I don't like any of them.